Hello everybody, today is April 18th, 2022. It is 12.35 p.m. It is 50 degrees Fahrenheit, 9 degrees Celsius. And ahead of me, you can see there's a large line in the Prudential Center, and that is for bag check. Um, I made the right idea and not making the same mistake as last time, I'm not bringing a bag, so. It looks like you could just skip the line right here. And I am happy I made that move. That choice. So yeah, looks like I'm gonna be skipping most of the line here. And today's the Boston Marathon. Of course, I think I should just say that. But yeah, here we have it right here. Security checkpoint. Skip ahead. And yeah, look at that. Didn't even check anything. Wow, look at the view from here. You can see some of the racers coming in. We are exiting on Boylston Street now. And Similar, similar spot to my last video. I came to this exact location back in October. It's quite lively. I think we'll head east. Excuse me, I think we'll head west before heading east. He's burying that girl. Here we have an early interval, so pretty good runners are coming through here. Most of them are very fast. It's a very packed day today. Here at Heinz Convention Center. Approximately 0.4 miles from here. According to my my echolocation. And you can see up ahead, there's just tons and tons of people. So my plan is similar to last video. I did in October because there was a marathon just about six months ago because of the delay of the one that was supposed to happen in April 2021 due to the COVID-19 pandemic. But yeah, check out the overall environment. I know we won't be able to get to the finish line, but you also have to make sure they see what I'm holding. A camera. Some people are always a little freaked out by what this kind of camera is because it's an interesting kind of shape. It's very small, but yeah, just to make it very visible. Because I can see every policeman looks right at it.
streets getting a little bit more crowded. Harder to pass. Arguably less crowded than October, though. People coming through the other direction because they know they're turning around because they can't go any farther. Bells are obnoxious. have a nice angle here or slightly elevated from the street yeah here we have another security checkpoint you can see the line quite long over there There's really no openings to step up anywhere. That's okay though. Um, we'll keep moving. Back on Boylston Street. The street I was just on was Ring Road. Know that person to my left.
Definitely got crowded at the end over there. Same sort of deal as last time. You're cut off at the end. Uh, the end is VIP access or if you have a hotel there, so yeah. I mean, it makes sense because everyone would just go to the end. You can't have everyone there. There we have it, folks. So, yeah, security checkpoint 25. Wow, there are 25 checkpoints, I guess. Arguably more. actually quite funny I did this exact route in my last video you know in my last um the marathon video but you know it's it's a great route I, I couldn't think of a better one to do you go through the marathon and then you see everyone kind of at the end uh, Copley Square station is closed today so no access there the station ahead and here we have the tent on the left which is, you can't really see right now but ahead is the medical center um, I was here last night and what an interesting experience you were able to go under the finish line that was super super cool uh, one of the one of the great great things I did was uh, check that out It's a beautiful day today, so it's a, you know, I'd say perfect weather for runners because you know you get warm when you run, and it's a bit I would say a bit brisk in the shade but gray in the sun. There we have it, no building going up, and uh, John Hancock building, the new John Hancock, John Hancock building ahead. Fire Department Incident Support. coming in yet just because you know it's very early on in the race but you could see that uh, this is bus to pick up the people 
probably go back to the cars from the original location. Uh, yeah, it's packed today. Tons and tons of people. It's super cool you can walk in these streets today, you know. Usually these streets are packed, right? You would never be able to walk in this spot. And you get a different perspective of the city over here. It really is cool. Tons and tons of people. Really nothing like, nothing like it. Tons of police as well. All right. I think that's really it for the Boston Marathon today. Came early, saw some great runners, very, very fast. And uh, I really, really, really like this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. This has been Dylan Rocco, and I'm signing out.